are most welcome. Yeah, it's Henry the computer guy. And in this video, we are going to be learning how we can uh, generate invoices using the UNEBO e-registration software. So first of all, let's open our web browser and we begin right away. So I will come to my Google Chrome, then right click and click on the option that says open. And after clicking on the option that says open, we are going to come into our address and type there the e-rig. Then we press enter. So you give it some time to load. And after loading, you're going to be entering in the credentials for your school. For example, we come to login. And after clicking on login, we are going to put in our uh, center number, which is uh, 0034420. Then we put the password. Then after that, you click on the login button. So you give it some time to load. Uh, and finally, our uh, e-registration software has loaded. Our portal is actually there. So now, what we are going to do first is to upload the data for which we want to receive the invoices. And we are going to come to the option that says upload data. So when you click on it, it is going to take us to a location where we can upload our data from. So we can scroll down here and we have this option that says upload a rig data for 2022. So they're going to ask us here and we are uploading which data it is going to be the exam registration data. Then down here we have the custom name. We can name it, let's say, uh, candidates 2022, just like that. Then on the, on the next option, we are going to be choosing the file to be uploaded and we can, we're going to be choosing the file. Click on the option that says choose file. We come to our desktop where we have our file and look for that file. We already exported it. Remember in the previous video, we looked at how we can export this data and uh, we are having it down here, which is 2022 and it is for St. Benedict. So I'm going to click on it and I will click on open. And having opened, uh, they are going to indicate that a file has been uploaded. So we are going to click on the option that says upload file. So you give it some time as it is uploading our data. So you have to be a little bit patient as the data is uploading. And remember, you have to be having an internet connection that is fine uh, for your data to be uploaded faster. So you give it time to load. So they are telling us that uh, the file upload is in progress and they are telling us to please wait. So having uploaded our data, so we have three options here and they are telling us that we have already selected the file. Uh, we have the review of the summary. Then we are going to be confirming the, uh, the complete of the, our upload. And when we scroll down here, they are showing us the, the summary of the the upload that we have made and it is showing us uh, that we are having 45 candidates and uh, some information that you can read it through. Then we have our uh, invoice summary which is with a description and the amount of money that we are supposed to be uh, paying. Then down here we have that option that is going to tell us that we have to confirm uh, and submit to UNEB. So we are going to be selecting that option, confirm and submit to UNEB. Let's click this option. And having clicked that option, we are now uh, done with our, our uploading of the data to your neighbor. So that is how we can upload the data to your neighbor and also generate our invoices. So when you look at down here onto our information that we have, they're telling us that we can as well be able to view the invoices. Let's click on the option that says view invoice. And having clicked on that option, they are going to give us the uh, the invoices here, as we are seeing, we have the candidates work, uh, work report, then this is unpaid, we have the registration fee, and it is also un unpaid. So when you look at the right here, we have some actions we can do, and that means that we can click on this option and be able to view our invoices or view the details of the invoice. Let's look at the first option and we see how we can view the invoice. So you click on that option and give it some time. And having 
clicked on it, it is going to show us some information as you're seeing. Uh, the details are here. And finally, the amount of money we have to pay is also indicated. So when we want to retain this information onto our computer, we are going to be able uh, to review it uh, for the next time. So that means that we are going to be picking the option that says download. So we want to download our invoice. Let's click on the option that says download. And having clicked on the option that says download, our invoice is uh, here. So we are going to be saving it onto our computer. So on your right uh, hand uh, corner in the top, there are some options there. That means that you can be able to print the, the invoice or you can be able to download the invoice. Let me click on the option that says uh, download invoice. And having clicked on it, they will ask me where I'm going to be saving it. So of course, I'm going to be saving it onto my desktop under the folder that says eRig. So I'll give it a name. Let's say I can call it invoice can call it invoice one then I'll say save and when we go back uh, actually it is now downloaded so we can always be able to view this information for example when we click here we can view it into our our folder so let's go back and also download the second invoice if at all it is there so we come and scroll up to our information so we can come and click on invoices again and I think we had only two invoices so we can come to the next uh, invoice here and having clicked on it we can also click on view invoice then you give it some time to load we also look at it that is the information we have there we can as well be able to also download that invoice by clicking on the option that says download and having clicked on it you come to the option also that says download and have that invoice onto your computer you can say invoice too I can say invo invoice two, such that I can be having all the two invoices already. This one is here, so we are going to be having another invoice. So I will click onto the option that says save. And finally, that is how we can uh, be able to get our invoices after uploading our data to UNIB. So when we scroll back here, we can go back to our, our dashboard. And now when you come Back here, you can as well be able to log out of the, C, the system. Click on the option that says log out. So that is how you can uh, get your invoice from uh, the UNIB e-registration uh, portal. Uh, it's been Henry, the computer guy. And uh, if you're new to my channel, please help me and click the subscribe button. Bye-bye. I sign out.